What is this? Why don't I have cute tendrils? Why do I have like, I look like I've got hair growing out of my ears like an old man. Well, well, children. <laughs> or if it's your first time here hi my name is Missa and today I'm going to be filming a full face first impressions apart from eyes because if you know me or follow me or whatever me hate me love me indifferent that's probably worse and um, then I'm really struggling recently with my pain that I'm having it's a little bit chronic which is a little bit infuriating and also that seems to have detracted my abilities of putting on eyeshadow so today when I got up in the morning I just thought I'm just gonna sit and play with eyeshadow and if I manage to do a look and I'm still capable of filming I'll film so we're doing everything except eyes clearly but if you want to know what's on my eyes it is the new Morphe 39S and I just wanted to play and I really like how it's come out I've not done like a cut crease or anything, I've just put some of the metallic shades on at the front. And yeah, I have a bunch though of new like complexion products and things to play with, so like the Ciate foundation and the matching powder that I've never tried, although that's not that new. Born This Way Sculpting Sealer I'm going to try for the first time. Ben E Bronzer, Huda Beauty setting spray not that i'm gonna be able to like put it too much of a like physical test but anyway i'm gonna stop fanning around and we're just gonna jump in and this is hamish's jumper i actually just bought for him and didn't think he would like it so i would get to keep it but he actually really likes it but i'm wearing it because it matches my eyes kind of anyway we're gonna start with the foundation because i cannot be bothered putting on primer um i got the shade 104 Y Linen and you get 50 mils of foundation here so this is absolutely ginormous it's huge you get like 66% more foundation in it this is going to be too dark I think but we're just going to go ahead and put it on and I'll take it down my neck if I have to so let's just jump in I'm just going to use a sponge oh yeah that looks a bit dark we'll see It's not too badly too dark. It's not the worst defender that I've ever put on. It smells quite pleasant, just smells like foundation. It's definitely too yellow for me. Um it says I think it's medium buildable. I'll put up the claims on the screen if it's my phone is at least six inches from my hand. I don't really like to know the claims that well before I test it anyway, just so I can see what I think and then if it matches up to the claims. That was one full pump. I'm just going in with another over here. So it's 28 pounds, but you get 50 mils. So it's cheaper than a lot of high-end foundations. And I feel like Ciate is a high-end brand. It's certainly not a drugstore brand. And um, I got it on Look Fantastic. It's quite often in the 20%, 15% off deals that they do. Right now it seems to be, well, when this video goes up, I'm sure the deal will have changed. I need to go over this ear because it's so bright red. Um, and right now it's holiday 20 for 20% off, but just go on, there's always a banner at the top of Look Fantastic that has whatever deals they're doing and I always find them so good. Look how much deeper that is though compared to my forehead. That's some difference. Chris, Chris, get a matching foundation. I wouldn't say that I have skin that needs full coverage foundation. I just generally prefer it because I like the cake, you know, but um, I mean, from what I'm seeing right now, it's looking. I'm just looking for my brush to put it on my neck. I've been a bit naughty, and Mum, if you're watching, I'm really sorry. Um, 
I use a hot water bottle at night mostly now so like in the evenings or like when I'm falling asleep I've got one tucked down my pants um, with my t-shirt holding it in place <laughs> my pants and t-shirt holding it in place but recently the pain's been really bad so like when I wake up in the morning it's not actually as bad as it used to be but progressively throughout the day no matter if I get up and try and do a little bit of exercise or if I'm stationary in bed or if I'm sitting in my makeup room no matter what I do the pain just gets progressively sore throughout the day and so I've been using a hot water bottle a lot and I've got really really bad blisters again all down my back I've, I've definitely permanently scarred my back mm, should I show you the photos I don't know right I'm gonna put the photos up on screen and if you don't want to see them because this is not makeup related in the slightest if you want to know a bit more about me and what I've done to my back then I'm gonna throw them up and there'll be timestamps so that you can avoid seeing them so yeah the first picture you're seeing is gonna be my back kind of I think about a month ago it was real bad and I'll show you a kind of progress pic of me really cutting back on the hot water bottles um and I all my blisters had cleared up I didn't need plasters anymore um and I was only kind of using a hot, hot water bottle maybe twice a day and now I have all the way down my spine, probably from like halfway down my spine to the top of my butt, I've got raw open blisters again, kind of like the first photo. So yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. So I hope if you didn't want to see those photos, you didn't have to see them. <laughs> anyway, that's enough jibber jabber from me this is not a chit chat get ready with me okay so apart from the obvious thing that this has turned me into an absolute smurf i think this is the second paler shade by the way um i could be wrong I could be correcting myself on screen it's got a lovely kind of satiny finish i would say a good medium coverage it does say buildable i'm not gonna bother because i think it looks good the way it is let me get a close up. Oh gosh. Yeah, that looks real nice. I'm a little bit impressed. Let me show you. If I zoom in, it should deepen so you can kind of see it more realistically on my skin. So you can see that freckle that's still popping through. And that cheek's where I get like breakouts. Kind of see them a little bit. Um, on my forehead, it's not sinking into my fine lines, but it's not like hugely that nice to my fine lines. I wouldn't call them fine lines anymore. Wrinkles, Melissa. Yeah. Decent. So now we're going to move on to a product that I'm so excited to try. Cara has been on my back to try this. She's a subscriber and when I mention people's names randomly in videos, it's not like people in my family that I'm expecting you to know. It's just like subscribers and followers. So yeah, um, we're going to try the Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer. I've heard really good things about this. I've heard not so good things about this. I really want one for contouring because it does say conceal, contour, highlight and retouch. You get 15 mils in here, so that's really good. I think it was about, how much are Too Faced concealers? It'll be on screen. So that's why I was um and awing about it because it's a little bit expensive, but you get 15 mils. So if I like it, then that's a lot of product. That's more than Tarte. It's more than any foundation uh, concealer I've got, more than the L'Oreal More Than. That's a great amount. Um, I got the shade Snow, and yeah, we're gonna try this out. I'm really really excited it's just got like a fat doe foot i'm sure plenty of you will have tried this concealer already and for me it's just now just test it under one eye i will say that's pretty nice and pale i find Too Faced products come up quite dark and um, but that seems pretty pale especially against this oompa loompa foundation on me but let's see i'm really hoping i like this It's 
blending very, 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 very easily. Like just kind of melted into my skin or into my sponge. I think into my skin. Very highlighting, but that is because of the color. It's a nice satiny finish as well. It doesn't feel really matte and dry. It feels really hydrating, which I like. Definitely got more coverage than the foundation, so I've just patted it over my lips there. Really kind of muted them out more. That is nice. I'm kind of trying to tone down my whole face by whatever's left on the sponge. Quickly do the other side. Try and put on the same amount. That's the thing, like dramatic makeup the dramatic eyes I always feel need to be done before your base but then we actually have to like be really careful around your eyes it's really irritating well on first impressions I like that concealer it's not blowing me away but it doesn't I don't think it claims to be full coverage or maybe it does but from what I've seen from people it's more of a medium coverage because obviously this isn't a new product so I've seen a lot of influencers talk about it already so I'm not really going into this blind. That's this good yeah? So hydrating I feel like my base is just really quite glowy and satiny and smooth. I like it. So I don't have a new powder, uh, powder um, no I do! Do you have a new um, cream contour? Almost forgot. Tantor by Huda. We can finally try this. I've been waiting to try this for so long because I knew I wanted to put it in a first impressions and now I finally can. So this is Huda Tantor. This is the one in Fair. I have swatched it, but I have not tried it on my face and I'm very excited. So I've also got the double-ended brush and I'm just gonna kind of plonk it on with this. So I will say when you swatch it, it's very creamy. I'm gonna do half my face at a time. Okay, yeah, that actually does blend really easily. I wanted to do half my face at a time because when I swatched it on the back of my hand when I first got the package, um, I couldn't blend it out with my finger on like bare dry skin, but maybe because it's over obviously like creamy foundation, it's blending out fine. This shade is fine for me. This shade will be great when I am fair, when I'm wearing foundation that actually matches me because right now I feel like it's actually a little bit paler than I would gravitate towards but I was a bit scared to bring out light because obviously that is a little bit darker but wow is it removing my foundation? I do feel like it is just a pinch here in this exact spot but it's something that I feel if I just go over a pinch with my sponge which I do with cream contour anyway will help that it could be I was just being a little bit rough with my brush work that's nice oh I like this on first impressions I also like I need to try and remember to say that because I don't want to use it like for a second time and then heat it and someone's gone out and bought it but on first impressions it seems quite nice and yeah this fair colour would be good if you do have fair skin you actually pick a foundation that matches you um, 
but I do have light as well, like I said, and I passed on all the other shades to, um, I think she follows me in here as well, but an Instagram follower. She's got deep skin and she will make use of them. I actually don't mind this brush. It's quite nice. Just like the ease of strategically putting it where you want it and then buffing it out. Without having to grab two brushes. Just pat over it a little bit with my sponge. Yes. Definitely look more sculpted, also a little bit more tanned, which is always nice. Um, so I am happy with that on first impression. So now, as I was going to say, I'm going to move on to powder and I've got the Ciate Extraordinary Translucent Powder. I've heard really good things about this so I'm pretty excited to try it. You get how much? 15 grams. I think this was £18. Pretty expensive but not the most expensive that I've bought either so We'll say what really annoyed me when it came from Look Fantastic is the seal was broken, like the sellotape was already broken, but I have opened this to look and it's intact on the inside, so I'm not too worried. Did I need another loose powder? No. First time you take that off, you always make such a mess. Let's try this out. I wonder if it leaves a white cast. I wonder if it gives flashback. We can test that out. I think it probably won't give flashback. It doesn't really feel like an HD powder. And it's kind of just sinking straight into my skin really nicely. Just gonna go ham. I'm just gonna do my whole face. Wow, once you use Coty Ear Spun Powder on a brush once, it's gonna smell for life. Wash this since. I'm a little bit picky with powders and I do tend to prefer high end over drugstore, especially loose powders. Um, all the usual stuff you don't want cakiness, dry patches, any of that malarkey. But so far, this is pretty smoothing, I think. Yeah, very smoothing. I'll do another close up in a second. And that is my skin new. What do you think? I just feel like it looks pretty smooth along here where I can get quite pory. Ignore my dry lips. Well, this is going rather well and base is usually where it's quite a scary area, you know, super scary and um, where things can go wrong but so far things seem to be going right which I'm very happy about. Let me just have a sip of my can of Monster that has a closing thing on it. So for bronzer, I've got the Fenty Beauty um, Sun Stalker bronzer in the shade Inda Sun. Um, this is the palest one that they do. I really like the packaging and Fenty intrigues me enough. I'm not like a diehard Fenty fan, please don't come and kill me because apparently if you say anything bad about Fenty, then people hate you. But I'm excited to try this. Um, we did try, well, it was in my haul video, I tried the um, coloured liners and they were shocking. <laughs> so 
so please don't kill me again. I'm gonna use this little Luxie 522 tapered highlighter brush because I'm gonna wanna get quite close to my eyeshadow and not disrupt it, so I'm just gonna use this. I do love the packaging, I think it's beautiful. Let's see what this color is like. Okay, I was worried this was gonna be too pale on me because um, Raw Beauty Chrissy, who I feel is pretty pale as well, she says she prefers the next shade up. Um, and I was like, oh no, I should have got that too then. But I mean, this is showing up and this foundation is at least what would you say? Five shades too dark for me? <laughs> and it's still showing up. Okay. Okay, this was... Gosh, I can't remember how much it was. Be on screen. Very smooth, very matte. It's not got like a hint of shimmer in it or anything. I actually really like a subtle shimmer in a bronzer. Um, but I don't mind a matte bronzer either because I can just add sheen um, when I need to. I just feel like this is very complimentary on me. It's like when I first used Hula Light and I just felt like my mind was blown because it just suited me so, so well. And I was like, wow, this bronzer's been out for months and I've been wasting my life not knowing about it. And I'm kind of getting that vibe where it's just so nice. It's just so smooth. Wow. I mean, it's just a bronzer, but it's a nice one. By Jove, it's a nice one. I am enjoying that muchly. You know? Very muchly. I'm just enjoying how this video is going, to be honest. But we do need to move on to sculpting now. Can't put it off any longer. Um. I'm going to use the NYX, I'm going to use that because I might potentially use the highlighter in that because I don't know if I actually have a new highlighter to show you. I was thinking about using the one from my Benefit um, Cheek Leaders palette, this Twinkle shade, is it Twinkle? No, Cookie. Twinkle's the pink one. Because I don't know if I've used this on camera but it is the best highlighter Benefit's ever come out with. But I might use one in this NYX kit, so this is what I'm going to use. So yeah, this is the next three steps of sculpt, and this is in Fair, and I thank you to try it. I swatched it in my haul video, and it felt so smooth to the touch. I feel like this side of my face is the not as good side, because my um, cream contour went a bit patchy, because I was just a bit rough on my um, brush. This side, I think, looks a wee bit better. I mean, it's sculpting me. It's really doing what it says on the tin. Let's get this nine head. I'm sure I exaggerate it every single time. Soon I'll be seeing my 1827 head. I like to get my temple. You know, you've got to have a skinny temple these days or you ain't in with it crowd. That's nice. I really like that. And actually for NYX, it, I checked a price online when I was, um, when I took it out of my door to potentially use it because I find NYX so redonkulously expensive. It's just my powder brush just to make sure I'm not overly anything. Um, I looked online, it's only 11 pounds, which is actually, <laughs> which is actually pretty good for NYX, um, I feel anyway. Because you're getting three products, so you could get have like an under eye setting powder slash highlight shade, an actual like shimmery highlighter and then the contour, and it's a really nice contour. 
it is really smooth on the skin it's really nicely milled and then pressed it's not too hard it's not too soft just nice Yeah, how much better just my, are my eyes starting to look now that I've got my face coming together, you know? Right, so this is the highlighter from the NYX kit. And then this is the Benefit one. This one. This one looks brighter, but this one looks a bit deeper. So I think I'll use the one from the Benefit because if you don't have this kit, then I highly recommend it. And I actually think I'm going to use the blush from this as well. So this was I think £26 and I was umming and awing and umming and awing back and forth and then it's like no, Melissa I just get it. Now it does have a hula in it which I really don't need. I already have, well I was going to say two, I've got three now that I've got hula light. Um, but it has um, Gold Rush Blush which is beautiful, really toned down, really muted and then this highlighter which is gorgeous but I don't mind the, it having hula because when I go away anywhere I can pack this and I've got three in one so that's always handy so let me grab a highlight brush and we'll do our highlight first. Yeah this is not a first impression but Benefit just doesn't do highlights like this. Like their brow products, I think, are fabulous. Their blushes are great. Their bronzers are great, especially now that they've extended the range because people of color do exist. Um, and what else do I like from Benefit? The Shy Beam Liquid Highlighter. Um, but the only other kind of box or like pressed highlight they had was twinkle dandelion twinkle and that is not a highlighter to me. i have that in my face powder drawer to be honest because it is so subtle if i want to make my overall makeup look way dewier i'll just put on a bit of dandelion twinkle all over my face so for them to come out with this, like they need to do this as a single because a lot of people won't buy um, this. I was gonna say they won't buy it for 26 pounds, but then their bronzers and that, aren't they 20 something pounds anyway? 24 pounds maybe? So actually I feel like even if they do bring this out as a single, you should really just get this palette because you're getting a lot for your money. Have we finished with skin? Do we only have boss, boss, fit resting boss face left? Yes, we do. Okay. Okay, so we tested the smell in my haul video. It smells exactly like her foundation. It is very heavily scented. So if you don't like that or if your skin doesn't react well to fragrance, which by the way, mine does not, like her foundation breaks me out. I still wear it occasionally because I love the cake but it does break me out so this could potentially break me out could break you out we don't know that yet um i'm hoping it doesn't and also that this barrier of makeup that i have on my face will maybe stop me breaking out it says resting boss face waterproof setting spray ultra matte finish um, that's all it says. Oh no. After applying makeup, hold eight inches away and mist face two to four times in a circular motion. Keep eyes and mouth closed. And it does say, did it say on this or on the press thing? It says avoid direct contact with lips and eyes. I think that's because alcohol is the main ingredient and <laughs> that's gonna be very, very drying. So let's try her out. I kind of expected it there to be like the Morphe one because it feels like the Morphe bottle but it's not, it's just like, it's just like a mister, like it's not a continuous spray. It does feel like you're spraying your face with hairspray, I'm not gonna lie. Oh gosh. Yeah, you want to keep your eyes closed. That's 
stings. It is so strongly fragranced. It is dissipating, but wow, 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 wow. If you don't like that, you are not gonna like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's that. <laughs> On that. I love Robbie Christie. If I could be her, I would be her. That leaves lips. Thinking of using this nude one because it's gonna match the pink in my eyes so well. This is the shade Bachelorette. I've kept two of the pinks, but I think this one from the cap looks like it would be amazing, but I'm thinking I should just go for a boring nude for this eye look. But I don't know, maybe I should just say F it and just do it. Do you know what? Let's do the pink. I think you only live once and I'm gonna go crazy. So we're gonna go in with Head of Beauty Bachelorette. I really like this formula and I really like that she's gone into colors now because the, all the nudes that she's released and the metallic ones, not really for me, colors for me. I have absolutely no grace when it comes to applying bullet lipsticks. In fact, I'm gonna use a lip brush because I need all the help I can get. And although a bright pink is one of my favorite colors, I am really lacking bright pink lip liners. It's very sad. Okay, after a long time of using a lip brush, I am not going to bother anymore with my lips being even or uneven. I don't care. I think this is a, ah, there we go. Knew it would get on my teeth. I think this is like cool tone pink because I don't feel like it's making my teeth that yellow like that bad and usually pinks do but I will say I have started using pretty damn expensive toothpaste and that should be helping somewhat. So here we are this is the makeup I'm not gonna bother going and putting on a wig or anything I just can't be bothered to be honest that seems to be the theme um let's just let's just discuss my thoughts on the products and then I'll go to bed. So first of all, I used the foundation. I love how this looks on my skin. Very nice. Um, I'm gonna use it a few more times, probably a couple times in videos, but also in my own time as well. And I will decide if I want to buy a paler shade. I am sure though, almost certain this is the second lightest shade. Let me double check, um, just cause I sometimes talk absolute but farts. Yeah, this is the second lightest shade. The next one down is porcelain. So I would need to buy porcelain. Could be too pale, but it could match me perfectly or I could mix it. So I'll use it a few more times and decide. But I really love the fact that you get 50 mils. You get so much for your money that it is almost not quite drugstore, but it is way more affordable when you consider how much longer it's gonna last you than a 30 mil foundation. The concealer, really impressed it on first impressions. To be honest, I was expecting to really like it because so many other people rave about it. Um, so really pleased. I want to try it on a day when I don't have makeup on underneath my eyes and I can really test out the coverage on like my dark circles, but on first impressions, good. Powder, really nice. Very smoothing. I feel very secure, very mattified. Then again, I have gone in with this, but before I went in with that, I felt very secure in my base. I think it looks really good. I'm gonna keep getting lipstick on my teeth because my front tooth is squint and it sticks out more. I'm pleased I have this to play around with more and use more. Um, then we went on to, oh, the Huda Tanter. I'm really happy with this. I really liked it. I'm gonna try out the shade light the next time I use a deeper foundation and try this when I use my own like regular foundation that matches my pale ass. 
Um, but on first impressions, it was so easy to blend, very smooth, really creamy, and really sculpted, which is what you want. Um, then we moved in to the Fenty bronzer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I really like this. I would struggle. I need to use it a few more times. But I can see myself struggling between this and Hoola Light as my kind of favourite high-end bronzer. So give me a few weeks to test out that and I will tell you. I am um, this three steps of sculpt, really nice. Only used one shade in it obviously, but it was a really nice contour. It's a nice compact. £11 for NYX, like I said, isn't too bad. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. This palette, although not technically a first impression, I really recommend. This highlight is incredible. That's what we forgot, I didn't put any blush on. Oh my goodness, I was wondering what I forgot. I'm gonna throw on Gold Rush right now, give me one second. Oh my goodness, so much better with a bit of blush. I was wondering what I was missing. What an imbecile. Okay, sorry. Yes, get this palette, honestly. So worth money, amazing. Um, This, I'm gonna have to try a few more times. I can't really go out and do anything physical and be like, oh yeah, it holds up when I do deadlifts at the gym. Because A, I don't go to the gym, and B, my back is broken. <laughs> Not really, but it is. Um, So I can't really test that, but it's very heavily fragranced. Please bear that in mind. And then this lipstick, I love this formula. It's so smooth, so creamy, so pigmented. Like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You know what I mean? It's gorgeous. This shade, again, Bachelorette, really like. So that is my video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't too rambly or all over the place. Whatever, that's just me. So if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up, it really helps me out. Also leave me a comment down below because I reply to all of my comments. And subscribe because it's the nice thing to do and this is a very nice friendly place on the internet. And if there's any mean comments, I just block that person and we move on with our lives. Unless like last night I have a bit of a meltdown, but anyway. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I hope I will catch you in my next video. Bye. Give me another hot water bottle so blame it on him. <laughs> Tuck into the pants, boy. Ugh. Ow, that hurts. Say ew. <gasps> no, come in. So I wanted to sit down and do a foolish first, full, foolish face. So well already. I wanted to sit down and film a full-ish face 